Autocast, we've known them for making Android Auto and CarPlay for vehicles, but now they make them for motorcycles. How good is this thing? Is it better than a regular GPS? Is it better than mounting your phone to the handlebars? Well, let's take a look at it. And as a disclaimer, I must mention that Autocast did send me this uh, unit to review, so I didn't pay for it. But as always, anytime someone sends me something to review, I give my honest opinion. doesn't matter uh, that I got it for free. I'll tell you whether it's good or bad, depending on, on what I actually think of it. Okay, well, here's the unit. This isn't an official unboxing, because I did open it up before just to check it out. Um, I was really curious to see if it was like all the other CarPlay and Android Auto units. Because if you see, I do have one mounted on my Triumph already, and it's a generic brand one, which actually I really like. And they all seem to be the same. This one looks a little bit different. The design is different. They, plus, they have this little shield that could go on top to help uh, shade it. It almost looks like the same connection as my other one. They give it mounting hardware and these connections. Uh, here you have the unit that's got three prongs. I'm going to see if my other one is the same. They don't give you, they only give you a way to hardwire it to the bike. They don't give you a uh, USB, which the other generic brand one, they do give you USB. So I'm going to see if that one actually fits because I've got the USB dongle because I hardwired my other one. Now this is the USB one from my other Android Auto CarPlay device. It only has two pins. I was hoping that this would just screw into here and I just plug it into USB to uh, test, but we're gonna have to hardwire it. Let's go into settings. Wi-Fi is on. Maybe it's this guy. Passcode, I'm just gonna write one, two, three, four, five, six. It's usually one, seven, eight. Open the device, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. First connect the phone. All right, I thought it needed to be connected to Wi-Fi. I don't know, Android Auto is coming up. Okay, so now it's playing out my phone. So if I turn on this Bluetooth headset, okay, so now, I'm gonna get a copyright strike, but, so now the audio does play through here. So when you listen to music and directions are coming through, coming through the helmet headset, where before it was coming through the, through the phone. So my phone is connected here to Bluetooth and I'm connecting my phone to here through Wi-Fi. So let's test the Hey Siri and all that. I'm putting my helmet on. Directions to nearest gas station. Directions to nearest gas station. Well, that stinks. Okay, so the functions on the headset still work. I could tap it to pause, tap it to play. I can't get voice dial to work though. Get directions. It just sits there and thinks. So for some reason the microphone isn't passing through. I want to try another headset. So now I'm trying with my Lexan headset. If I hit play. All right, so there we go. We got audio playing through there. And now we're going to try the microphone. Hey Google, get me directions to gas station. And once again, does not work. And I'm doing exactly how like they say in the instructions where this gets paired to the, your phone over Wi-Fi, and then your phone gets paired to your headset over Bluetooth. I want to see if a phone call works. Hey, can, can you hear me? Yeah, oh, you can? All right, now the microphone worked for phone calls. I just can't get the microphone. Let's see if it works with Google again. Get me directions to gas station. It's not doing anything. The microphone will just, will not work. If we exit here and go into settings, you can actually turn off the uh, phone audio so it doesn't come out the phone. So now if I do this, your audio should come out here at the speakers here, which it is. Once again, don't want a copyright strike. But as you can hear, now, it's, now the audio as you can hear is coming out audio is coming out of the unit itself. Now we're going to try the microphone. This has a built-in mic that should pick up your voice. Get me directions to a gas station. Once again, it does not want to use the microphone either here or on the phone or on the headset. And if you look here on my phone, I do have Android Auto set to allow use of the microphone. Alright guys, well, 
I tried, I really did. I wanna make this thing work, I wanna like it. I've tried you know, different headsets on my helmets. I've tried an Android phone, an Apple uh, iPhone, and the microphone, internal microphone, just will not work. It works for phone calls, but it will not work for the automated assistant, which really is a big thing because you wanna be able to use the automated assistant. And what stinks is that it just locks you out, even if you wanna use it and not use your headset and just pull over on the side of the road and use your phone and say, hey, get me directions to a gas station. You can't do it as long as it's paired to it. It's like all microphone function is, is blocked off. And I did check the, the permissions in the phone. My phone was active, and like I said, microphone does work for phone calls, but just will not work with the automated assistant. So I don't know, I, I'm not too impressed with that. Uh, I do want to thank Autocast for sending this out for me to review. Maybe this item is a lemon, maybe I just got a bad one, I don't know. But let me know what you guys think if you have the same unit and if you've had luck with it or experienced the same problems, leave the comments down below. I, I read and comment back on, on everything. So I just want to say thanks for tuning in, thanks for checking out the channel. If you liked it, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.